Hello everyone. For today's Murphy Law Monday, I wanted to go over the topic of what factors the courts consider in an analysis of awarding child support and which ones they do not consider in that analysis. Courts mainly consider things like work-related child care expenses, which include but are not limited to expenses that you incur as a result of being employed and having to have care for the children. That can be daycare, aftercare, before care, a nanny that comes to the home during homeschooling um, to assist you in that regard. All of those things would be what we call work-related child care expenses. Again, I want to harp on and highlight the fact that you should have this expense before you file for or receive a summons for a child support paperwork because you don't want to go out and try to divvy up all the expenses while the case is pending. You're, the sincerity of your request is going to look questionable. And also, if you go and add the child to your insurance or add them to a new extracurricular activity, all of these things look kind of fishy from the court's perspective. Another expense that the courts consider is health insurance. So the health insurance premium, not that you pay for the family plan, but what you pay for the child individually. And you would calculate that by asking your HR department for a breakdown of how much it is for individual, for um, individual plus child, or if there are excess children, how much it is for the um, individual minus the family plan. So you can get that number and that number can go into the calculation. The other expense that comes up quite often is the extraordinary medical expenses. And those are expenses that the child has as a result of any medical issues. For example, having asthma or needing an asthma pump or a breathing machine. Um, if those expenses and medications require an excess of $100 a month expenditures, then you can go ahead and give those receipts to the court as well for consideration. The court does not consider your rents. They don't consider your mortgage. They don't consider your gas bill. They don't consider things like that. Sometimes they can consider transportation depending on the circumstances of how far you live and whose obligation it is to drop off and pick up the child. So in my case is where one parent lives out of state or drives a substantial distance to facilitate access or visitation with the child, the court may consider that transportation cost, but there is not a requirement that they do so. I just wanted to go over this. If you are in need of legal services in the state of Maryland or in the District of Columbia, please give my office a call 240-493-9116 and www.amurphylegal.com. Thank you.